It was a really planned race because, you know, um, I've been uh, running with the great athletes like John Walker, Ben Jimshu of Kenya, and uh, Rod Dixon of New Zealand. Uh, I mean, of New Zealand, and these people, they have been, uh, they have set their best times. There are 10 athletics finals tomorrow, headed by the men's 1500 meters, in which Ben Jipcho is going for his third gold medal of the Games. But in opposition will be many of the world's great milers, including Philbert Bai of Tanzania. As Bai comes at home alone, and look at that time. Three minutes, 38.1, and he made it look ridiculous. It was really a great race because I planned and uh, nobody knew my, my technique uh, or that day because people thought that maybe I'll go in the group and I knew that I will not have any fast speed at the end and uh, John Walker, Ben Gipcho, they are really experienced in sprinting at the end. So I said, uh, I just decided with my coach, I said, I think what I should do, I just do the same thing I did in Glasgow one year before, uh, before when we had the Olaf and Games in Nigeria and I beat Kipchoge Keino, you know, the great of all time. And uh, I said, I think I have to use that technique. And nobody knew. But and then I just moved from the beginning and uh, people thought that they would catch me. But I knew that every time they, 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 the distance is, is, has, has been reduced, I was uh, moving and I was extending the distance. And, the, the, and I said, okay, now one lap to go. And then I said, I think this is the time now. And Bailly holding his lead. The black best of New Zealand in second and third. But they're not closing on the leader. And Jipto makes his run now on the outside. 200 metres left in this devastating race. And if you have seen the footage, you can see how I accelerated to the 200 metres. And then I relaxed. Once I, when I relaxed, John Walker, Ben Gipcho, and Rod Dixon started to move and I saw them at the corner, and when we go to the straight 100 meters at the finish, I saw John Walker coming behind me, and I said, okay, now it is the time to say, catch me if you can. For the first time, I see the screen flashing world record, and then I was just excited. Nobody talked about Silver Bay of Tanzania. I was like underdog. I said, okay, you don't talk about me, but I'll surprise you people. And I did it. This, perhaps the most devastating piece of front running by any athlete in middle distance events.